Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Daxon here with Noxide.org. I got my mono price select 3D mini, uh, excuse me, my, my mono price select mini 3D printer here. Um, I had a few people asking me to kind of do a basic walkthrough of how to print because uh, I had one person in particular saying that uh, they're trying to print something and the extruder wasn't moving um, and there's, there's a few different steps you need to take every time before you print um, so I'm going to kind of walk you through that here so I have my image on the SD card so I'm just going to come down here I'm going to go ahead and carefully put the SD card in alright one of the first things you need to do every time you turn on your printer is you'll go to your temperature setting you want to go ahead and crank your temperature all the way up on both settings um, right now this can go to 250 degrees Celsius for the extruder and for the platform you see I have it at 80 and that'll start heating up and well you can either sit here and watch this especially if you're new um, it seems like it normally takes you know three to five minutes depending on the room temperature in here um, but we'll be, we can go ahead and exit out of this because there's something else we also need to do before we can print so we can go down to exit now one of the most important things I figured out it, it took me a few minutes to figure it out when I first got this printer but you need to go to move and then move your selection to the home axis you have to move the extruder to the home axis every time before you print. It's very very important otherwise you can go to print something and nothing's gonna happen. Okay? I already have mine at the home axis but for demonstration purposes I'll move here maybe oops controls can be a little touchy I'll move my extruder. By the way, that Z is, you know, up and down. Your Y is forward and backwards, and your X is left and right. Just kind of, kind of move it so you can. There we go. Okay. Now this is what I was showing you. Home axis. You gotta move it there every time before you print. So we'll go ahead and move it to the home axis. It is a little bit slow, but let it do its thing here. Also I have another video on this, but you do want to make sure that your bed is level, otherwise the higher your print goes, you'll end up, um, it'll get really messy and you don't definitely don't want that. Um, so that's definitely important to have your bed level. It's pretty simple. It, it does take quite a few minutes to do it, especially your first time. Um, but it's nothing too, too complicated. We go ahead and exit out here. Now that we're at our home axis, let's check on our temperature again. So we have it target set at 250 and it's at 250 target set at 80 and it's at 75 that's about as hot as this will go um, for whatever reason I'm not really sure but so we can exit out of that and I do have a little bit of stuff up here on the platform for my last print so I'll just take I found out one of these box knives seems to work better than like there's a tool that came with the printer like this I like this metal one better but a box knife seems to work a lot better here. Get up. It's kind of hard holding the camera in. This seems to peel it off a lot easier. Just like that. Okay, so now our temperatures are all the way up. We can now go over to our print setting. And the new thing I added. I'm going to print off a little logo for my website here. Select that and you can enter. 
and now you can see the extruder is moving this head in the print now I do want to move my temperatures back up I'm having better luck printing at like 240 with the extruder and I want my platform as hot as I can get it which is 80 and I'll leave the speed at 1 for this just because it's a demonstration purpose um, and it's on its way this is a pretty large print it's about maxed out so it's making it some um, the test yeah I know my platform is a little messy but that's from the this hairspray you can check out my other video I use this for glue and uh, I'm having things stick to it pretty good and that hairspray is only a dollar at the dollar store so and that's actually going and starting the actual base you can see that that outside piece right here that'll be useless it'll that'll just come off later but what it's printing now is going to be the actual base for the print there it goes starting to make the base and that's all there is to it with this printer and then when it's done um, you'll be able to click go home and it'll take you back to the main screen on your menu here and you'll be able to use your scraper or you know box knife whatever you want to use to take your printed object off and one little tip I do want to throw out there you have your speed you can set between 0 0.1 and 2 the slower you print the better your prints gonna be it will take quite a bit longer if you're in a rush obviously you can set it to 2 um, but the print's not going to look near as good. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also visit my website, www.noxide.org. Just telling the truth. Got all types of cool free stuff on there. A lot of things. All my videos about 3D printers and uh, anything I have to share with you, I'll have there. So definitely check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.